If you've never seen a comet before, you have a great opportunity in mid-October. We've been a shooting comet Tsu Chin Chan Atlas C 2023A3 a bunch of times if you check out our last video. And we want to give you a few tips to view this already amazing comet. The most important thing to know is when it's visible. In late September and early October, we were able to see Comet A3 between about 6.15 to 6.30 a.m. for a few days, which was just before sunrise. Since the comet has finished making its way around the sun now, heading back out of our solar system, be sure to plan your observation for early in the evening. You should have a window of an hour or so after the sun sets to view it when sunlight isn't drowning out A3's brightness. Normally, we recommend you drive out to a darker area to camp, so you can also squeeze in some more stargazing once you're done viewing the comet. Unfortunately, the moon will be a waxing gibbous, moving into a full moon on October 17th, so don't expect the darkest skies at night this time. Definitely download an app to find Comet A3 in the sky. If you use something like Stellarium or Sky Safari, you'll easily be able to find its location. As you can see in the northern hemisphere on October 12th, the comet will be in the west, trailing the setting sun just a bit above it. Look for Virgo, where A3 will be between the legs while the head of the constellation is dipping below the horizon. The comet will continue to rise in the sky, but should get dimmer as the week marches on. By the 16th of October, A3 will be in the constellation Serpens, near the head section of this chopped up snake. It'll go higher in the sky further into the month. We also suggest you check out the weather before heading out to a dark location if it's in your plans. It might not be worth your time if there's heavy cloud cover where Comet A3 will appear. Wait for an evening when you know you could see it, since you should have a few good days of viewing. A3 has been pretty bright up to this point, and we're hoping it doesn't let us down. It's a smart idea to bring some binoculars or a telescope too. While you could see the comet with your naked eyes, getting a close-up view is way better. You'll be able to view so many more details, even if you only have a cheap pair of binoculars. You also might want to test your luck with a little astrophotography. If you've never shot any object in space before, just give it a go. You really don't have to be a pro. Try using whatever you have, even if it's a cell phone, and just have fun. It seriously might get you hooked on this hobby. All right, road trippers, thanks for watching. Best of luck viewing Comet A3. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.